thing we went over today uh, during class. Just a works gi no gi doesn't matter. Uh, this is a, a position more. I guess I don't need more no gi and no gi, but you can apply it in any position, yeah. Or in, in wearing the gi or or not. Okay. So this position happens. With this person is gonna go for a double heel position. Okay. Don't stretch me out. Well, I'm gonna come here. Okay. It doesn't matter if he comes for a deep double heel right here. If he has a deep, or he comes for a short double heel right here. Okay. It's gonna be all. The fundamentals are gonna be all the same. Okay. My knee. I'm always gonna try and get my knee to be pointing out. So I'm always. I can break his. Break his double heel. Okay. I'm always gonna be driving my shin into his leg. Okay. Now, in this position, if he's using this leg, I want to try and avoid this leg as much as possible. So I'm gonna. I can grab. Okay, grab the position, grab here. I can use the gi, keep my elbow tight so I can keep my elbow to my knee so I can also put pressure, okay? Now here, from right here, I'm always gonna, this is the key that's gonna happen. I'm always gonna keep my shin pointed into his, into his uh, hamstring here and keep my calf pointed this way. I'm never gonna have it pointing, my knee pointing this way, okay? It's always gonna be pointing into the leg and that's the position I'm gonna stay. Okay, so now I'm here, I'm gonna put my hand, just plant my hand right here, right on the ground right behind his hip. Okay, no matter if he's deep or short, like I said. Okay, I'm gonna plant here, I'm gonna keep here. Now this hand right here is gonna come right inside, and I'm just gonna plant on the ground. I'm gonna drop my leg here, so I can put weight down on top of his, on top of his leg and break his belly heel. Okay, so I have my hand here, I'm gonna put my hand right in front of his, his leg right here. Okay, now I'm gonna roll onto the shoulder. Because if I roll here, it's going to make my, my knee turn this way. I don't want my knee to turn that way. I want my knee to always stay pointing towards his leg. Okay, so I'm here and here. Climb. Now I'm going to roll over the shoulder. Tuck. Okay, and I'm going to roll here. Well, now look at this leg. I'm going to triangle. You can grab the leg here. Or you can grab here. Look, I'll put his leg right on my shoulder here. Boom. You can grab here. You can grab the leg. Now all I'm going to do is triangle tight. Oh, I'm going to compress. I'm gonna tap him in a <coughs> in a muscle crunch from here. Okay, so here I am. I plant here. Look, a little shoulder lock. You can grab here. Or you can just grab his top here. Either way, with any position, can okay? you get him in a nice calf lock, muscle crunch, whatever they want to call it? Okay. So I'm gonna start the position here. Here, boom, this person goes for the belly heel. Look, the first thing I want to do is I always want to turn my knee out. So I always can break his, his hook. Okay? This leg's always here, so I got my base. Okay? The leg comes drop down. Put this hand right here, and this hand in between the leg. Okay? Now I'm going to roll over the shoulder here. So look at my, my shin. It's always pointing. Okay? I don't want to turn it out like this. Because my shin's pointing out. I want my bone to be facing him. Look, there you go over the shoulder. Cup, cup, or you can grab this kind of a grip. Okay, I'm gonna triangle either way, however you feel. Now I'm gonna just come back. Okay. One last time. Oh, here, oh, oh, no. oh, oh. Okay. The last technique of the day. Okay, cool. I'll look you guys.